This video is going to demonstrate how to create a virtual graduation or any photo montage set to music. It's a very simple way to do it if you have an Apple or Macintosh computer. Now I've already accumulated a bunch of photos as well as one video clip that I want to put together and create a slideshow with music in the background. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to open up the Photos app which can be found in the Applications folder but I like to click on the spotlight search or press command spacebar to bring up the spotlight search and I simply type out photos and it will search for the app called photos when I have the photos app there I will double click to open it the photos app stores images that you may have imported to organize everything we're actually going to create a new album you can either go up to file new album or you can click on it here I'm going to go up to File, New Album, and I want to name this album something that relates to what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and call it Graduation 2020. I now have my folder with all of the images and videos in it. I can select all of these. I drag them in and I drop them on top of Graduation 2020. Now this is going to import the images. Now I've already done this, so it's going to ask me if I want to import the things I've already imported. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, import, even though I've already imported them, just to show how it works on here. Now this shows all the photos that I have imported, as well as if I switch this, it will show me the videos that I have imported. In this case, I have just one. And so I have all my images imported inside here. I can select everything and I can click on slideshow. Now all this will do is it will play a slideshow and you can see that it plays there and it gives us an example but I want more control and I want to be able to turn this into a video that I can upload and share somewhere else. So instead of clicking on this slideshow with everything selected I'm actually going to go up to file and I'm going to choose create slideshow and I'm going to give it a name uh, it gives me the name of my album graduation 2020 I'm going to keep that I click on OK and now I have the slideshow where there are images down here and I can click on the play and it will preview and you can hear there's music playing and it's going to transition between each of these images but I want to have a little bit more control on this. And so when you're inside of this window, let me maximize so we can see it a little bit better. You can see down at the bottom, you have all of the photos that we have imported. And here's the video clip that I have imported. I can actually move these around. Let's say I want the video clip to go more at the beginning. I can put it here. This first image, you'll see it has this black T on it. That stands for text. And we can have text in here. We can edit the text by simply clicking on it. We can add text on each of the pictures if we want to. So if I want to add text to this picture, I can come over, click on the plus sign, add text, and we could put things like people's names or other text that we want to have in there. So we could put that in there, you can go through. And now this simple one basically just plays and it fades between each of the pictures. If you click on these two rectangles over here on the right hand side, there's different themes. This is the classics theme that is set up. You could also choose Ken Burns theme, which will have the images slightly moving as we go. If we preview this, so here you can see that the photos are moving. There is a different music that is playing here. And I'm going to escape out of that. Now we've played both of those. We haven't seen the video, but here's the video that I've put in. I'm actually going to drag it over here. This time when I preview, it's going to play the first one and then it's going to play the video. So we can see our first picture, our text. I'm, uh, honored to be with you and here you can see the video the that's playing. And so you can continue on and have the music play in the background. You can have the pictures move. But you can experiment with different themes. For example, the origami theme actually puts multiple pictures. And I'm going to move the video a little bit further here. And so now if I watch the origami theme, you can see a couple of these pictures have a couple of pictures inside them. 
Let me move this one over here. And so you can move pictures so that they match the text. Let's preview this one. Again, you'll notice different music, and you'll also notice that the transitions are different. When you have text with music, it actually puts them together. It has different transitions. If you have multiple pictures in one of those groups, I'll we'll skip through that. Here you can see there's multiple pictures all on one. And so you can go through and you can experiment with the different themes and the different music and see how it works. This theme will actually put the images all together. So again, that's the origami and you can go through these different settings and you can move the pictures around where you want the pictures. So if you want the pictures in different orders, if you want the same pictures together, depending on how much work you want, or you could just go with the default image that is set up there. And so in this case, you can see I can put all the pictures in the order that I want them pictures that are taken at different aspect ratios can also be included. You can also choose sliding panels. So there's a bunch of different options that you can go through and explore. Vintage prints makes it look like there's a bunch of photographs po put on there. And so it will go through each of the pictures. And there's all these different options you can try. Now let's say that you like one of the options, one of the themes, but you don't like the music. You can come over here and you can click on the music. And you can choose the music library. You can choose your iTunes library, or in this case, theme songs. And I can choose the different theme songs. Let's say I like the magazine theme song. I can select it and I'm going to unselect this one. And I can choose which songs I play or if I want to play all of them. I can also click on the stopwatch here and I can have the pictures fit to the music. I can also choose how long or how fast I want this to play. And so it gives us quite a few options on different things that we can do with these images. I'm going to click back on the themes and there's a couple of different themes and you'll notice uh, the themes also you can switch the different options. And so here we can see the Ken Burns has an extra option. It says scale photos to fit screen. So we can do that. Now, this is great, but the way that you get this video out to share with people is you come up to export. And this will allow you to save your image as a video. I'm going to save this to my desktop so that it's easy to find. And I simply click on save. It will now export the slideshow. And it will make a slideshow that you can upload and you can stream live to other people or just upload and share with the people you want to share this memory with. Once it has finished, it will export the video file. You can watch it and then you can upload it. It may not be perfect, but if you have to create a photo montage in a short amount of time, this is an easy way that you can do it. I also recommend that you watch your video before you upload it or before you share it uh, online. That way you can make sure that it looks good. I hope this video has been helpful. Have a great day.